This is the way. What's up, guys? It's the Iron Mandalorian, and welcome back to another vlog on my channel. As you can tell, I have made it home safe and sound from Michigan perfectly fine. And you know what's crazy? I'm already going back to work tomorrow. I, I don't understand it. I'm, it's, it's nuts. I'm already going back to work, and I have to get up early to do it. So, you know, day after getting back from Michigan, you know, it's just... You know, stay home for a little bit, and then, boom, next day, back to work. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Anyway, guys, to, uh, well, not today, more like early this, very early this morning, late last night, when I got back to my house, I got the rest of my birthday presents. That is right. And I am very, very pleased with almost all of them. Here's the problem. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. I, all right, sorry guys, I had to move into the, into my bathroom because there's just too much background noise out in, out in the rest of my house right now, so we'll get to what's out there in just a little bit. Here's the thing though, I, <laughs> I can't believe this, I got my birthday presents right, and three out of the four are amazing, like I am so happy with them, I can't even tell you, like I, I'll show you, that's what I'll do. Here's the thing, though. The fourth one. I was so excited to get this, I could hardly wait. As most of you probably know, at Epcot at Walt Disney World right now, they released a new, they opened up a new roller coaster recently called Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I still haven't been on it. It's crazy. I don't understand it. I, you know what? <sighs> Calm down. I'm hoping to go on it in September. I think I'm going to be doing Genie Plus in September when I go to Disney World, so hopefully I should get on it then. Obviously, I won't be able to live stream it. Not live stream. Vlog that for you guys, because, you know, phone. But I will be give you my honest reaction when I'm done with it. Some friends of mine did go on it, and unfortunately, one of them didn't have, well, yeah, one of them didn't have t the best time on it, unfortunately, because... They were told the ride was really simple and easy. Apparently, it's like the craziest roller coaster you could ever be on in your life. Anyway, guys, because of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind opening at Walt Disney World, there was a lot of merch released. Like, crazy amount of a lot. I... <laughs> I ordered on Shop Disney one of the pieces of merch, and it was Star-Lord, aka Peter Quill's leather jacket. And I was really excited to get it because it's a jacket, it's practical, but it's also one of the best Marvel characters, in my opinion, ever uh, jacket, you know? It arrived today. Well, no, it arrived, it arrived while I was going to Michigan. And <laughs> I got home today, well, early this morning, late last night. I got back and <laughs> I tried it on today and I cannot believe this. I was so mad. I was really mad. It's too small. And I wear a size large, guys. And it was a large jacket in adult men's. And it was too small. I am, I'm still mad about it, you guys. Like, <laughs> it, it just doesn't make sense. I should realize by now, though, that this type of stuff from Walt Disney World runs small. Like, it's common sense. Common sense. Like, I should know this by now. Anyway, calming down once again. <laughs> other than that, I got three other presents, and all three of them are really cool. All themed from the same movie, which I told you guys I went to see this movie twice. You might know what it is. Hint. Anyway... I think it's time I show them to you guys. Before I show them to you, I will say, though, that this vlog is going to be a bit of a shorter one. I'm sorry. I'm aiming for five to ten minutes, maybe, at the very least. I don't know. We'll see how long it goes for. But I do need to, as I mentioned before, I do need to get up early tomorrow morning for work. And honestly, there's, like, nobody who ever comes to my classes on Saturday morning. So I don't even know <laughs> if I'm actually going to be working. Anyway, guys, I am not going to have this vlog run super long because I can't waste a ton of time 
Well, not waste. I enjoy doing this with you guys. I can't spend a ton of time do working on this because I need to get, get ready and go to bed so I get enough sleep and get up in the morning with enough energy to actually coach kids who probably will have no energy in my classes. <laughs> anyway, in case you haven't seen my work, my my work, my bleh, I can't talk you guys, like late at night, my mouth is just not going to work. In case you have not seen the vlog I did where I showed you a bit of my work life, please go check that one out. I will pause this video right now and let you check it out. I'll still be here when you get it back. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Okay, welcome back. Uh, because that one's not very long and you could probably fast forward through it very easily. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to show you my birthday presents now. And they're really, really cool. One of them especially is very cool. And I cannot wait to show you. Okay, here are the first two, you guys. And look at this. They're so freaking cool. Look at that. That is amazing. I love them. This one especially. This one right over here. In case you haven't guessed, it's Thor. Both of them are Thor. From Thor Love and Thunder. This guy is hilarious with the Peter Quill jacket with no sleeves. It's hilarious. And the tank top with the Tree of Life, I think it is, from Asgard. It's just um, it's just hilarious. This guy over here, though, I'm going to get you a better look at him. He's so cool, and he's, like, he's really shiny. And his cape is really smooth, just like it looks like in the movie. That's really nice. I can't believe he's bouncing right now. Oh, because he's got his cape on the ground. Look at that. On hard on hardwood though he balances very easily not on his cape and this guy over here he's awesome and in case you in case you didn't notice this pose that I have him in right now is actually the pose he has on the movie poster so I have obviously have to do that but in all seriousness you guys those two Thors are really cool shout out to Hasbro for making some really cool Marvel action figures obviously two of my favorite Marvel action figures that I own. Like, I finally have a Thor action figure that is in shape and has long and has long hair. Because <laughs> the only one I have, no joke, the only Thor action figure that I have with the long hair, like, from Hasbro, is Fat Thor from Avengers Endgame. If you have not seen that movie yet, first off, shame on you, because that is literally one of the greatest movie, Marvel movies of all time. Two... Go check it out, like, right now, and then come back to this vlog. You'll probably have to watch the rest of it tomorrow morning, because the movie itself is three hours long. Mm-hmm. But it's totally worth it, especially the ending. You've got to check it out, all right? Anyway, the piece de resistance, I think I said that right. I'm part French, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Or not notice, in case you didn't know. Anyway, here's the big one. And I cannot believe I actually got this for my birthday. I was so freaking excited when I got it. But here we go. Look at this, you guys. Behold, it is Mjolnir from Thor Love and Thunder. And look at, like, all the little cracks in it and everything. It's so cool. Oh, there's... Sorry about that, guys. There's, um... I have animals, as you've seen. Check out my first night vlog ever my first official night vlog to see my animals uh there's some toys dog toys and cat toys around here you know i gotta get them out of the shot obviously so you can see the amazing mjolnir it's incredible like he's so cool well he it i don't know but it's awesome that's not even the best part though like if you go down here there's a little button on the side right here and i just press it oh Oh, it's off now. Hang on. Oh. So cool. So cool. That's not all it does. There's more sound effects, but I'm not going to showcase them right now. All right, guys, here it is. And check it out. I'm worthy. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Like, look at that. So many, like, the cracks and everything. And look, at once you turn it on, like, by pressing the button, here, here's a better shot of it. Once you turn it on by pressing the buttons, if you wait a few seconds, as you can see in the mirror here, it actually starts, like, flashing the lights on its own. 
which is a really cool effect. It doesn't last long, it's only for a limited time. I'd give it maybe a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes. At the very least, two minutes. Um, for the lights to be on without doing anything, but like, it's so cool, you guys. And the strap here is leather, and it's, it's, just, it's a nice piece of material. It's so nice. And down it goes. So cool. Oh, there's one more thing. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's in the camera. Look at that. Look, look how great that is. So cool. So cool. But if here's a nice thing. If you hold the button in, it does like a special sound effect. I'm going to show that to you guys right now. Maybe. Absolutely one of the coolest Marvel accessories I own. Like, it's great. It really is great. I mean, I still got it in here with me. Like, I'm not... I never let this thing out of my sight unless I gotta go to work or something. Uh, it's so cool, though. But, like, the material is so firm. It's, like, it's plastic, but it's, like, a really firm plastic. And the handle is so nice. Like, you get a really good grip on it. But, like, if you were to use this as a weapon... Like, I'm not talking, like in a hammer fight or something or not even as a tool maybe as a tool like one nail or something i don't know but like if you were to hit somebody with this thing hard enough you wouldn't have to actually put much effort into it it's really light nice swing to it kind of like how vision holds it in avengers age of ultron check out that movie too if you haven't already shame on you if you haven't seen it though <laughs> um it's really light, you know, and it's, so it provides good maneuverability and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend if you want to get it, totally get it. Like Disney has it, I think on Shop Disney still. I'm not sure if they still have it or not. But kudos to Hasbro for making such great Marvel toys. It's so cool. But anyway, like I was saying, if you try to hit somebody with this thing and you hit them hard enough, it could do some damage. At the very least, it'll hurt them. Like boom, right across the face, or in the chest, I don't know, like, if you had to defend yourself, this is a good way to defend yourself, I'm just saying, oh, look at that, we're at 12 and a half minutes for this vlog, you guys, guess we went over my recommended time limit, which is probably not a good thing, because, like I said, I gotta get ready, anyway, you guys, that's what I wanted to show you, another quick thing, I probably have told you enough times already, but Disney Pixar's Lightyear, was a great movie. It was a great movie. Like, I loved it. And like, I, like I've said in my past vlogs, the Michigan series, check out that. I just finished it yesterday. Um, Like I said in, the, in my Michigan vlogs, Lightyear, like the first 10 minutes of it, the whole movie was a tribute to Toy Story, the first one especially, but the first 10 minutes were like quotes from Buzz Lightyear from the first Toy Story movie that... Buzz Lightyear actually said in the Lightyear movie. So I really enjoyed that. As like a really big Disney fan, that meant a lot to me. Anyway guys though, I will say the same gender couple that was supposed to be in the Lightyear movie was still shown, but they did cut out the romantic scene, I guess, between them, which was nice because I no, that was the biggest reason that movie was getting such a bad rap. But because they took that out, the movie was so, so good. You know, like, even if they would have been left in, it was such a small scene that I don't think it would have mattered to me because it was it was just such a good movie. Like, I definitely recommend you see it. I mean, it's coming to Disney Plus August 3rd, so, you know, you won't have to wait long. But it was so good, and I enjoyed it. I definitely recommend you see it. Thor Love and Thunder, as I have also mentioned, was a great, great movie. Better than Lightyear, I think. Absolutely hilarious. Chris Hemsworth really brings the character of Thor to life. Of course, there were references to same-gender couples in that movie as well, because that's kind of where the movie industry is going nowadays. But, you know, we just kind of deal, through, we deal with it. We just roll through it, and I try to ignore it and just enjoy the rest of the movie, you know, because... I love these movies, and I'm always going to love these movies, no matter what happens. 
but Thor Love and Thunder, all, all bets aside, was a great movie, hilarious and action-packed. People say that they didn't like it because it was too funny. I think they're nuts because Thor is meant to be funny, especially in Marvel. He's meant to be funny. He's not all serious, you know? That was my serious face, by the way. I hope you liked it. <laughs> but, like, it was so good, though. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, obviously I enjoyed it because I saw it twice. Um, but it was it was good. I recommend you see that one, too. I think that one's coming to Disney Plus soon as well. But with all that being said, you guys, I... <laughs> I had a fun time in Michigan, and I'm, but I'm happy to be home, and I gotta get ready to go to sleep so I can get up for work tomorrow morning, and I don't think I'll be vlogging tomorrow because your boy needs a bit of a break, plus I'm home so there's not much exciting stuff going on now, but I will be hoping to make another vlog soon and have some more exciting stuff and news in it for you guys, but until then, if you enjoyed this vlog, Please go ahead, like, comment, and watch more of my other vlogs. Like I mentioned before, I just finished my Michigan series because I just got back from Michigan, so please check that one out. It was really fun. Anyway, though, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you real soon. Bye, guys. Alright, end credits scene, you guys. I have a bit of a situation. I don't think I'm worthy to lift me only anymore. Let's check this out. Okay, you guys, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on.